Hello and welcome to Vloguary 11th. Today I have a uh, fun convention story. This uh, was from two or three years ago now. Um, my first time going to Otakuthon, which is in Montreal. If you ever get a chance to, please go. It is really, really fun and um, it's where the cosplay summit um, qualification um, take place, and that was really cool to see. Just those really, really well made, detailed cosplays. Just, <clears throat> just really cool. Anyway, to give you a little background, I am not someone who is often or at all flirted with or hit on. Uh, I really, I don't mind that much. Um, I have a boyfriend who, if I been with for about eight years now so it doesn't really affect me in my day-to-day -day, and honestly I'd rather not uh, be bothered that much I am a little bit of a hermit anyway so I'm often not spoken to in certain ways I'm not used to it whatsoever so this was my very first time at this convention in Montreal so I was hanging around with my friends uh, who I had went with quite a bit um, but we wanted to see different panels and stuff so there was a particular time during the day where they said oh we want to go do this thing I forget specifically what it was and that's fine because I wanted to go to another um, panel and we had decided okay we'll meet up um, after because they ran at the same times in the dealers room so I'm walking around and I found one of my friends who had her um, booth selling cosplay swimsuits which they're all really really well made and I was like seeing the new things she's uh, created so we chatted for a bit I actually didn't know she was going to be there so it was nice seeing another familiar face so we chatted a bit and then I went off again and I was um, a few booths down, like three or four booths away from where she was. Um, I couldn't see her booth anymore, but I knew it was like there. The other thing is Otakuthon takes place in Montreal and I don't speak French. I am a horrible uh, Canadian student and didn't really learn that mu much in my French classes and boy howdy do people ever speak French in Montreal. They do speak English as well but I had met uh, a decent number of people who I couldn't really understand that well either because they didn't really understand what I was saying or their accent was really thick and I didn't understand what they were saying <clears throat> just to preface, preface this next bit of my fun story um so i am looking around at the different things and i look a little lost because legitimately i was i wasn't entirely sure um what i wanted to do next or where i wanted to go and even though me and my friends had made that plan to meet up in the dealer's room we didn't specify specifically where so I was kind of looking for them and kind of oh what's this what's that and I was cosplaying um, low like a sweater low-key version of Shinji from uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion so I was in like full boy mode like I had my uh, I bound my chest I tried to do a little contouring to make me look like a boy. I, you know, and I, I had nothing about me was um, feminine in that moment other than I guess I kind of have a round face. Anyway, so someone comes up to me and says, hey, how are you doing? And it was a guy who was, I'm not, actually, I'm not entirely sure how old he was, but like definitely like adult ish age like young adult maybe I'm gonna say anywhere from 18 to mid to early 20s uh, about the same age I was at the time and 
I am very happy because this is someone who has basically the same accent as me and isn't speaking French, which nothing wrong with speaking French, it's just I can't understand it. And, you know, I like meeting new people at conventions. I like, you know, making friends and, and stuff. Even as much of a hermit I am, as I am, I do like a little bit of um, convention friends. So he starts talking to me like, hey, how are you enjoying the convention? And I'm like, oh, I really like it. This is my first time here. Um, it's been really fun. Kind of hard to talk to people because I never know for sure if I'm going to be able to, but it's nice. And he's like, oh, that's cool. Uh, have you bought anything in the dealer's room yet? And um, I hadn't bought that much because I was trying to be careful with my budget. But I thought, hey great moment for me to plug for my friend who has that uh, cosplay swimsuit business a couple booths down. So I said, no, but my friend is here. She has a booth down that way and she sells cosplay swimsuits. And before I could even get out and she makes swim trunks for guys as well, his face, eyes get wide, and he leans in and says, oh, did you buy one? Are you going to wear it? Are you going to wear it later? I can take a photo of you later if you're going to wear it. And I say, I am so, so taken back by this because this has never been an interaction with somebody I have ever, 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 ever had. So my re instant reaction was, no, I didn't. I have to leave now. And he said, okay, yeah, sure, but if you wear that sw that swimsuit later, um, tell me and I'll take photos of you. And I'm like, no, thank you, bye. And I scurry off and just very luckily bump into my friends um, who I had agreed, like, we'll meet in the dealer's room after and relay to them the entire interaction of what just happened. It was an extremely surreal moment for me because I never get talked to like that ever that was the very first time something like that had happened and it was for me I don't maybe there were signs earlier in the converse uh, conversation I don't know um, at this point maybe he was flirting with me from the get-go but either way, for me, it felt like this entirely 180 from just, like, chit-chatting, like, hey, how you doing, how you like the convention, oh yeah, it's cool to lean in, let me take pictures of you in a swimsuit. It was such a weird, weird moment for me. I don't know, um, how many people have had that? Well, I actually kind of do. Uh, a lot of my other friends have had less pleasant interactions than that, let's say, at conventions and, and elsewhere in general, but that was a first for me. It hasn't happened since, thankfully. I wouldn't want it to happen again. It's uh, It made me feel really, really uncomfortable. And just the fact that he was so... Uh, adamant about wanting to take my photo in that situation. I have no problem people want to want to take photos of me um, but it was that difference of I'm in my cosplay now and you don't want a photo of uh, of me like this but you sure as shit want a picture of me in a swimsuit. There's that there's a difference and I feel like the intent is different behind it. It by a no means ruined my convention. I still had a wonderful, lovely time, and now it's just a funny story I tell. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I certainly had a have a fun time telling this story. Um, and I hope something like this never happens again. But if it does, it'll just turn into another fun story. Have a good one. Bye.